Hey everybody, how are we all doing today? I wanted to give you guys an updated video on the Steam Deck, kind of giving my first week review. Now I've had my Steam Deck for a little over a week actually, closer to two weeks now to be honest, but the thing that's super clear is it's an incredible piece of technology. Now we've had a rough past few days due to my cat getting sick and waiting and the payments and things of that nature. But one thing that kind of helped calm my nerves and things is I was able to play on my Steam Deck and stuff while we were waiting. So Sunday we took our cat to the vet in the morning and we sat there for roughly five to six hours. And I can't tell you how much it took my mind off the things that was going on as being able to sit and play my Steam Deck and stuff while I was waiting. And I know that's not necessarily the best time, you know, not once, but to be able to take your mind off of things and not to stress out about them what in a situation that's truly out of your control, um, it's kind of just, it, it's relieving, I guess, to say the least. So I've had one or two good experiences with playing my Steam Deck away from home. Most of my playing has been up in bed at night when we've been staying up to give him his medicine or whatnot. And not to distract from the Steam Deck, but that's the situation I've been dealing with. And the Steam Deck has been an awesome companion in that because I've been able to use it to play games or do this or talk to my friends in Discord or whatnot when I haven't necessarily been able to sit at my computer. And that's truly where the Steam Deck shines. So. If I'm sitting at my desk, I do at times choose to play on the Steam Deck just because it's fun, but if I'm going to play a game and take it seriously, I'm going to play on the computer. It's an easier experience being able to play on my mouse and keyboard. But if I am inconvenienced by something or I'm not able to sit in front of my computer, the Steam Deck is a perfect computer to have. So lately I've been playing a lot of Fallout 76 from bed, I played some Black Ops 2 from bed, some Black Ops 3 from bed. Um, I played a bit of Destiny as well, and mind you, I haven't done much on Destiny besides farm out weapon levels, but it's great for that. Say you, you're at work and you have a break or something and you're trying to get that new weapon or get that event or maybe something only happens at this time of day or, you know, weekly resets or whatever, you can do that. And it is a very, very viable option. Now, Destiny and games of that nature are not quite available on SteamOS yet, but I did easily, very easily, dual boot my Steam Deck. So now my Steam Deck, when I launch it up, I get the option to boot either into SteamOS or Windows 11. And that's personally the way I like it. I didn't want to have to commit fully to Windows because there are games that run better on SteamOS. And I personally prefer the UI and things of SteamOS because it makes it feel like a console. You're on Windows, it's cool because it feels like another PC, but the fact that you can't really use your controls and things just to scroll through menu options and stuff, SteamOS is my preferred way to have it personally. I love the overlay that shows the FPS, shows the temperatures. I love the ability to customize the TDP, um, or the power and things that your CPU and GPU are getting. I love the ability to see my estimated battery life in game. I love the ability to seamlessly be able to press the Steam button and go to different applications and stuff without closing my game. I love the ability to put my Steam Deck into sleep mode and pick up right where I left off. There's just a lot of things I really love about SteamOS, but I do love the versatility of being able to have Windows and being able to play those games that aren't quite available on SteamOS and Linux yet. So. I'm really appreciative of that. But I really do like my dual boot. I didn't want to pick one or another. And based on the Steam website, if you look, I believe that they have plans to implement a dual boot automatically on the Steam Deck. So overall, it's just been an incredible experience. All my games run really well. Um, I used to, when I would watch videos and stuff and see people limit the FPS to 40 on the Steam Deck, I used to be like, Psh, I'm not doing that, 60 FPS is king. But I've actually been limiting my FPS to 40 to preserve battery life and things of that nature. And I haven't actually had my Steam Deck die yet. I think I played for two to three hours of Fallout 76 the other night and Destiny and stuff, and I was still had a good 33% left. Now, one thing I will note about the Steam Deck is it is, again, an incomplete product. At some point, it will be complete. They're constantly updating things. That does not mean that everything works perfectly straight out of the box. You will probably have to do some tinkering. Now, putting in my NVMe was a very scary and nerve-wracking experience, to be, to say the least. It was very scary taking the back off for the first time. It was very scary taking the tin metal plate that covers the CPU and GPU, or the APU and the NVMe. It was nerve-wracking. 
but I did it, I got it back on, and it works great. I would 100% still recommend you get the 64 gigabyte model for $425 and get yourself a nice 512 gigabyte or one terabyte NVMe and just put it in it. You need the 2230 M2 SSD. They're kind of pricey compared to the 2280 variant that goes in most of our computers and things, but once it's done, you're done. I don't even have any plan. I, I was going to get SD card and stuff to make sure I had extra space. I haven't had any issues with space. Right now I have Fallout 76, Fallout 4, um, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, um, Destiny, um, GTA 5, I have Crisis 3 because I installed the Xbox Game Pass on my Windows 11 boot um, and I've been playing Crisis 3 on it. That's been pretty dang fun. Now you do have frame drops at some points in certain games. And another thing that's very confusing is Steam has a lot of games that are listed as incompatible, but they are compatible. Fallout 76 is listed as incompatible, but it plays great on the Steam Deck at 40 FPS. I do not know if you can necessarily get 60 FPS, but the Fallout engine is not very optimized in the first place. But Fallout 76 runs great. You do have a few frame drops here and there, but I didn't see mine drop much below 30. Sometimes it would hit 26, but it was just for very brief moments. Um, but for the most part, it plays at 40. Um, I have Black Ops 3 limited to 40, but it'll play above that. And I not only limited my FPS to cut down on the battery usage, but also to keep temperatures down. Um, I don't know what they recommend the temperature range, but it's a very small device. It's a very powerful CPU and GPU combined into an APU for a device as skinny as this, to be 100% honest, so I don't blame them. 40 FPS on such a small screen doesn't bother me, and I'm a person that used to get sick playing like Destiny 2 and stuff on Xbox One and things at 30 FPS, and it doesn't bother me at all. So I would recommend probably dropping it down to 40 FPS. Um, you can still play at 60 FPS, but overall, I think the Steam Deck is an amazing purchase, and if you're looking for something to play on the go, I always want the Nintendo Switch. I was always hoping for like Black Ops 2 to get ported to it, things like that. And obviously that's very unrealistic. But I love the Nintendo Switch. But it, the, the concept of the Nintendo Switch is awesome. But I don't like the fact that I can't play any of the first person games I enjoy playing. And this is the best device out there right now that I've experienced personally to play games from bed, on the go, in the car, on the couch, just about anywhere mobile that you can have. And unless you're planning an all day session of eight or nine hours, you're probably not gonna have an issue with the battery life of it, as long as you're willing to make some sacrifices, like I said, 40 FPS and things like that. The Steam Deck is amazing, I love it, I'm very appreciative of it, and I figured I'd show you guys some gameplay of it as well.
like the Fallen are bringing in a glimmer drill.
Let's fix that. Turn it on. I found a piece of the meteor. Ready 
to give up yet! We need to use the walled portals if we're going to get around the prison! <laughs> 